A string of robberies in Jacksonville with one thing in common. All of the victims were attending a loved one's funeral when their house was broken into. And now a suspect is in custody after police get two breaks in the case, which led to his arrest. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avenier is joining us live from JSO headquarters to explain what led to the suspect being put behind bars. Eric? Yes, detectives here at JSO headquarters say two things led to the arrest of burglary suspect Jack Lenz. One of those was an eyewitness. The other was a lawn tool that was pawned that they say he stole. He went around the edge of the glass with a screwdriver and popped this frame off. Jimmy Burt is one of more than two dozen people whom police say was burglarized by this man, 40-year-old Jack Lenz Jr. And there's probably a lot more that they don't know about yet that'll come forward once his story gets out in, in the public. According to detectives, Lenz picked his victims by combing through obituaries and burglarizing the homes of people attending funerals of loved ones. Detectives say he would locate relatives of the deceased and drive to their neighborhoods during the funerals posing as a pizza delivery man, repair man, or service tech. Bert says he was attending his mother's funeral when his home was burglarized. My son came home and as soon as he got here, called me and told me that somebody had taken the glass out of the back door and, and broken in and rummaged through the house. Bert, who is a retired burglary detective, says he instantly knew he would not be the only victim based on the way his home was broken into and says he warned police. I told them then, I said, you got a problem, you just don't know it yet. And it started after that. I mean, the snowball started rolling. But at some point, detectives got a break in the string of similar burglary cases when Lenz broke into a home that was occupied and took off when he was spotted. A witness got a look at his car and reported it to JSO. But a bigger break came when detectives say Lenz pawned a weed eater that was reported stolen. It was traced back to him. Now, back in 2019, Lenz was released from an Arizona prison after he had been convicted of burglary. He remains locked up here in the Duval County Jail on more than a half million dollar bond. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.